what's up guys it's your girl Nick and I'm back with another video so super excited I went a little crazy a little bit a little bit a lot of it I caught the Bath and Body Works 595 sale guys and I did a little bit of damage let, let me show you look oh my gosh oh my gosh do you guys see this can you see that I went a little crazy but I do it for you so oh let's get into it I have not smelled these yet guys I have been waiting for you I'm excited to try these for you if you like hygiene videos you like smell good videos you like lifestyle you like motherhood you like just hanging out with your girl with all my craziness please make sure to subscribe to my channel hit the like button and the notification bell so you always know when i upload a new video and before we get too far into rambling let's just go ahead and get with the bath and body works girl let's get it okay so i think i got let me look at my paper I think I ordered 19 I'm trying to make this video too long girl but y'all know how it goes I'm gonna give you the tea so let's just pick them up and start rolling first one we have is sweater weather this is what the packaging looks like so cute has the little facets on the bottom the notes in this one are sun crisp apple autumn leaves and orchid woods I have high hopes for this one who and my high hopes were right oh my gosh y'all y'all know what this reminds me of it's another bath and body works it's called orchard leaves and something i have it it reminds me a lot of that one. Oh, this smells so good guys this was a good choice i gotta learn to stop blind buying stuff but at $5.95, girl, you can't beat that because this is originally $6.15. $16.15. Y'all see that? Y'all know how Bath and Body Works gets. And I got it for $5.95. This is a keeper. Next, we have Magnolia Charm. Magnolia Charm notes are dewy pear blossom, blooming magnolia, and fresh cedar. And I'm sad because I've been dying to get my hands on this one. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I actually could see myself wearing this one. Definitely not one I'll be wearing for the fall. But yeah, as it starts, yeah, this is one I could see myself wearing spring and early summer. This one is good. Okay, so we're two for two right now, so I'm not mad. The next one we have, and this is a very popular one. I'm late to the game, guys. This is In the Stars. The notes are starflower, sandalwood, sandalwood musk, excuse me, sugar, tangelo, white argan wood, and radiant amber. First of all, anything with wood, sandalwood, or musk, I'm all for. Um, those are some of my top notes that I absolutely love in a fragrance, along with patchouli. So... I don't foresee this not being something that I don't like, but you know what? You just never know. Oh my God. Where have I been? Why have I been sleeping on this? Why did no one tell me about this? Oh girl, this is good. I see why this is a cult favorite. This is nice. Why did I sleep on this for so long? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is going on the top shelf. This is going to be in rotation very soon. Yeah. That's a good one. I don't know, guys. I'm doing pretty good. I'm three out of three right now. Let's see if I can keep going. The next one we have is Marigold and Cane Sugar. The notes are Golden Citrus, Sunshine, Marigold, Cane Sugar, and Warm Amber. Let me not judge a book by its cover. Hold on. Mm. I 
I don't hate it but I don't immediately love it. I definitely can smell the marigold in it. It's a little bit more floral than what I like, what I'm used to, but this is one I'd be willing to give a chance to see how it wears on me before I just automatically say no. And disclaimer guys, if you hear noise in the background or see little heads pop up like down my hallway, it's because my children are home and they're playing so just ignore it do like I do ignore it back to the perfumes so this is golden sunflower and this has notes of sunflower petals orange flower and fresh vanilla okay it's not too bad the alcohol smell is still there so hold on definitely something for spring early summer it's kind of like the marigold one. It's not my favorite, but I also don't hate it. This is another one that I'm going to have to wear first and then see how I like it. I feel like I might be making a dent in this box, y'all. This is ridiculous. So this is Pinkberry Clouds. Pretty packaging. The notes on this one are strawberry spun sugar, marshmallow fluff, and fresh air. Oh. Okay, I can I can see this. It's very sweet. Um definitely get that sugar, definitely get that marshmallow. I don't know if I smell strawberry or not. It just smells sweet to me. This almost puts me in mind, guys, of um, Pink Sugar. The the perfect, who makes that? Aqualina? Aqua? Something. You get it from like out of Walmart for like 15 bucks. I didn't think I would like that. But lately, I've been trying to expand my horizons. Like, I'm not even going to lie. And I have realized that I do kind of enjoy some sweet smells. I just feel like... At my age, which is none of your business, I'm just playing. At my age, you know, I just like a little bit more of a mature smell. Some of the sweet smells I feel like can get a little juvenile. It's not that I want to be like, you know, white diamonds mature. Because, girl, she's not grown enough for that. But I also don't want to smell like cotton candy, if that makes sense. I wear it to bed. I tried wearing it during the daytime, guys, and I did not like it. I couldn't get with it, but wearing it as part of my nighttime routine like it was it was great this next one i have is champagne apple and honey again really simple really pretty has really pretty packaging i love the what is it the facets on the bottom come on baby focus for me okay you get the gist so the notes on this one are pink lady apple sparkling champagne jasmine honey and autumn woods sounds like something right up my alley Mm-hmm. 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 I can tell. Oh my gosh, yes. That apple and that champagne. This is another good fall one. This is this is gonna be in rotation. So I'm I'm proud of myself because right now we're already like seven in and I only have two that are like maybes. Like I don't even hate them. So I'm doing good. This is Sunshine Mimosa. I've been seeing this one a lot too, so I have high hopes for it. The fragrance notes on this one are bright, literally just says bright. Bright, bubbly champagne, fresh citrus. So, out of the nozzle, can't really smell anything. Just let this dry. Guys, where have I been? This is literally the epitome of summer in a bottle. What have I been doing all summer? Oh my God. Luckily, I still have a couple of hot days that I can like throw this on. But this is amazing. Like this is, this is beach. This is just like we outside. This is beach. This is good. Yeah, this is good. Y'all have been letting me sleep on all these fragrances and I do not appreciate it. Like, 
what have I been doing? The next one I have is Lakeside Citrus. This is the packaging on it. Super pretty. Blue's my favorite color, so I'm kind of partial. The notes on this one are autumn air, citrus zest, and sparkling waters. Oh my gosh. I could fight y'all right now. I mean, really. I could fight you. This is my type of scent, guys. This is what I'm talking about. That fresh, clean, just not too much in your face, but like I, I can smell you type deal. Yes. I love these types of fragrances. Y'all. I almost want to spray this one on. Like, can I spray this on myself? This is good, guys. Oof. Oof. This is good. If you don't have it, get it. You're missing out. I was missing out, so now I gotta help you. Don't miss out. Go get that one. Oof. Okay. Sorry. Moving on. Next fragrance we have is called Mad About You. Another one in the pretty faceted packaging. Bright red. There we go. There it is. Am I the only one that feels like this already came out or this is just like has upgraded packaging? Because I really think I've seen Mad About You before. The notes on this one are black currant, bright peony, pink jasmine, oof, white patchouli, and vanilla musk. Guys, I might be sold already just from the notes. Those, let's see. Yep. Ooh, this is sexy. This is sexy. A good date night fragrance. Like I am, I think I know myself better than I thought. Like I'm doing so, so, so good. I'm so proud of myself. Let's, let's, let's keep it going. The next one we have is Honey Wildflower. This packaging is super pretty guys. See that? That is so cute. Like, oh my gosh. The notes on this one are crisp pear, fresh wildflowers, and sweet honey. Let me not judge it. Hold hold on. I know y'all saw my face. Like I, I carry my emotions on my face terribly. I don't know guys. I don't hate it. It's not one of the ones I would rave about. I don't love it. This is another one that I'm gonna have to wear. This is one that I am willing to wear though. I would have to wear it. Maybe pair it with some other things and kind of see how it works, like the other ones. But it's not terrible. It's not terrible. The next one I have is called Pink Velvet Cupcake. Okay guys. Straight out of the nozzle, this one smells good. The notes on this, I'm sorry I didn't read the notes. The notes are sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugar praline. This one's good. It's another sweet scent. We already know how I feel about sweet scents. They're not my favorite. This scent to me looks like something I would wear like at bedtime. All right guys, I got about five more. Let's see if I can't wrap this up. The next one is called Wicked Vanilla Woods. The packaging on this is gorgeous. Like right up my alley with the holographic. Like how pretty is this? The notes on this one are Magical Vanilla, Glowing Amber Wood, and Enchanted Pink Pepper. Why would I pick up something that says vanilla when I know I don't like vanilla? But you know what? We're being adventurous here, okay? Let's just, just go with it. It's not that coinly sweet vanilla that I don't like. Like, it's it's good. Maybe it's the pink pepper I'm getting. That spiciness, that spicy note. Yep, this is good, guys. Definitely like a fall cold type of scent. I mean, don't get it twisted. I wear scents whenever the heck I feel like it. But you know, you have those one or two that you just feel like perform better in like colder weather versus hot weather. 
I feel like this would be really good in the, in the winter time. Yeah, this is a good one. So our next one is Sunrise Woods. Looks like that. The notes are creamy sandalwood, <laughs> sweet berries, and cozy cashmere. Why do I feel like this is going to be a, a, a top contender? I feel like this is going to be a good one, guys. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It almost reminds me of Twilight Woods, guys. Like, is that weird? Sunrise Wood, Twilight Woods? Yep. Yep. This is going to be a staple. Fall staple. Already know it. I'm down to my last three, guys. Next one we have is Open Sky. This is what the packaging looks like. Super pretty on this, guys. And the notes are fresh air, wild blackberries, soft violet, and a cloud of comforting vanilla. Maybe I like vanilla more than I think I do. At least coming out of the nozzle, it smells good. Let's give it a little spritz. God, that smells comforting. Oh my gosh. Guys, that's good. Like Bath and Body Works, what have I been doing? Like I'm a Bath and Body Works girl. I have a huge collection of Bath and Body Works. But I'm not gonna lie, I've been going in and out sporadically, picking up like one or two things and not really like truly looking. Cause lately to me, everything had been smelling kind of the same, or like I said, kind of juvenile. I've been going for my daughter and she got, um, what was it, wild berry, waffle berry cone or something like that. When I smelled it, I thought it smelled exactly like Captain Crunch cereal, my eight year old loved it she's ecstatic about it and so she purchased it and my whole mindset is just like i don't want to walk around smelling like my eight-year-old so i didn't buy it i've been steering clear of bath and body works for just a little while because i just kind of felt like everything was like very fruity and strawberry and just kind of more younger like, like that kind of stuff girl kudos to you it probably works very well with you and your body and your chemistry and that's what you like I'm not telling you not to wear it I'm not calling you a juvenile because you wear it I'm again sim simply stating that's my opinion that's how I feel about them I like scents that smell more like this okay okay so now that's out the way the last two that I have guys after just doing all of that spiel about not lighting fruity and all this good stuff I do have two so here we go. The first one that I have is pumpkin pecan waffles. One, the name struck me, and two, the packaging got me. Like, let's just let's just be real. I got suckered in because of the packaging. How freaking cute is that? Very fall. The notes on this are maple syrup, golden waffle, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. I just feel like that this is something that you would want to eat. So first initial thought. Okay. I don't want to spray out guys. It's definitely a nighttime scent. Definitely very warm definitely get the maple syrup it's it's definitely something i would wear at night like i would want to snuggle up next to bay and smell like this and see what the outcome was i don't see myself wearing this during the daytime but nighttime i could i could definitely get with that for nighttime and my last body mist that i have is blueberry sugar pancakes this is the packaging guys this goes against everything i want or like in fragrances everything that i typically go for this is something that i feel like i would buy for my eight-year-old but instead i bought it for myself so the notes on this one are sugared blueberries fresh pancakes and caramel cream drizzle I'm a little nervous, but you know what? I'm not knocking it. Not yet. Whoa. That is blueberry. 
Oh, that's blueberry. <laughs> oh my God. That is blueberry. That is. So I'm gonna be honest. If this one is your favorite, I'm sorry. Please don't take this the wrong way. Don't take this to heart. I don't even think I would wear this to bed, guys. Like this to me is what I was talking about where I feel like it just, it just doesn't resonate with me. But I, I feel like I'm gonna be passing this one along to the little one. I don't wanna smell like blueberry. I don't wanna smell like blueberry pancakes. I don't think this one's for me, guys. But I can admit that it does smell good. It does. It's just not my type of scent, so. There's that. I'm sorry. I did pick up one more thing, guys. It is not a body mist. I have been trying to get this scent forever. It's always sold out. But it is Almond Blossom. I was able to snag it in the, in the body cream. I prefer the body creams over the body lotion. So the packaging is really pretty. I have not smelled this either. I just want it because I like almond. See? This is this is more of my scent. Like it's sweet and it's floral, not too floral. <sighs> Guys. See. Yeah, this is this is good. I see why this is so popular and why this always stays sold out. I'm trying to get my hands on this in the body mist. Guys, if you love me and you find the body mist or you have it, send it to me. I will love you forever. I did pick up, you guys, a few um, wallflowers. I don't know if you guys care to see them, but pff, I'm going to show you anyway. I mean, where are you going? So really quickly, really briefly, like I got a small bag. They um, were on sale for $3.25 and I actually only got like three cents. Right now, in my plugins, I currently have Aloha Kiwi Passion Passion Fruit. I just picked up another one because I still feel like, whoa, I still feel like it's kind of warm outside, like summerish. So I'm liking this one and I wanted to replace it. I picked up the Caramel Pumpkin Swirl and Open Sky because they said warm and comforting and fresh and relaxing. Like, come on, how obvious am I, right? So that's what those two look like. That's the. And then lastly, I picked up a room spray. I love their room sprays. I have one right now that I have in the room sprays and the candles called Hibiscus Waterfalls. Guys, so clean, so fresh, smells amazing. Was like the perfect summer scent. And apparently that was like a limited edition. Of course it was, I always picks up I can't keep buying. But I'm trying to transition after I put the new ones in. I'm gonna start transitioning into fall around the end of September. And so I picked up the white pumpkin. I love, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin either, which you probably wouldn't know since I bought caramel pumpkin swirl and white pumpkin. But as long as it's not like sweet, sweet pumpkin, I like it. Maybe I like pumpkin more than I think. I'm gonna stop, I'm just gonna stop saying it that I don't like stuff because I contradict myself all the time. Like, girl, I don't like pumpkin i.e. as I buy a white pumpkin room spray. Like, girl, who you fooling? No one. So, that's it. That really is it. I think I did pretty good, guys. Like, I'm super proud of me. I only have, like, the three that were maybes, and they all ended up being, like, the floral scents, but I am going to give them a try. And then the blueberry sugar pancakes, um, uh, it's kind of up in air. That's probably the only one that I probably just did not like, but that's okay. I'll just try some more but that is all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed this video please comment down below and let me know what your favorite Bath and Body Works scent is um, make sure you like and subscribe girl subscribe to my channel listen guys my goal is to get a thousand subscribers by December come on you watching the videos just hit the button don't cost you nothing it's free and I'll be here every week and make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video until my next one. I love you. Mwah. I mean it. Bye.